What's up guys, Darsizzle here and you're watching Darsizzle Offshore. And in today's video, I caught checkered pufferfish. This is catch, clean, cook, poisonous checkered pufferfish. Check it out, second fish for me. Kind of in the same area where we just caught that first sheep's head is this puffer fish. And I honestly don't know the correct species, the correct name for this guy, but they're supposed to be really good. I know our buddy Captain Pat loves to eat these guys. Um, but if I had a whole bunch, I would say I'd do a catch and cook, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and release them. No, let's, you want to let's throw them in the well in case you catch some more. We make some chicken tenders out of that thing. Yeah, they call it like toady tempura or something. I don't know, toady. I don't know, but we could figure out how to do it and ask Pat or whatever. Let's see if I can uh, just use my hooker here. And guys, once again, any of these products that I'm using in my videos, they're all in my Amazon store. You know, I'm not talking about like my calendars and fish hook bracelets that I sell, but like more like the fishing products. I have an Amazon store that you can check out. Link is in the description and everything that I'm using will be there. I'm just going to flip them in the boat. There we go. And uh, this dehooker is pretty sweet. It's gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So check it out if you're interested in any of the products that I like to use when I'm fishing. I wanna show you guys what I've got going on here as far as fishing the structure with the jig and shrimp, but I already cut off his tail. This is a live shrimp. So I'm gonna take my Mustad jig and I'm just gonna run it into, what are you doing, Brian? <laughs> and I'm just gonna run it into the soft side of his belly and then run it up into the hard part of his shell there. And that way he's not gonna come off and I'm just gonna slide him up on the jig so he stays up nice and tight like that. And then I'm just gonna cast him out and you can see that I have him tied on with it, the jig tied on with a loop knot. I really like to use the loop knot when I am jig fishing like this. And this is 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and I have about a five foot leader. And then to connect it to my line here, I am using an FG knot, which I've started to tie a lot more, a lot recently. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I doubled the braid so I could actually tie it correctly because a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader to a 20 pound uh, main line is, no, is not gonna really hold that knot together. So I doubled the, the braid there so that way I could make a nice connection. So that way it's not gonna get stuck in my guides, <clears throat> but that's how I'm fishing and just casting it up along the current, along the structure where there is current. I guess he can't really do it now. He's pretty blown up now. There he goes. Look at those weird teeth. It is time for the clean portion of this video and it is the next day and I'm sorry guys but if you hear this echo and the terrible lighting we just don't like it but we're stuck inside because of the terrible storms that are currently outside right now so we have to do this inside so I apologize but you see here I've got my checkered puffer fish we got four of them just sitting right here they are poisonous and basically you're, you can eat them no problem but the, what the, the key thing that's poisonous inside of them is their liver so I'm going to show you a way how to fillet this guy and um, avoid that liver completely and it should be absolutely delicious. This is going to be my first time doing it. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Bubba Blade pocket knife which is really super sharp and perfect to get this job done. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do and I'm also going to be using my Bubba Blade pliers because we're just going to cut directly down behind his head through the spine all the way through and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now but he has two little fins or like little bones right here. I believe I'm just gonna cut right behind those. So up behind his head, right here, you feel these two bones and just make your initial cut all the way through. Nice sharp knife is key to getting this done correctly. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see here. They have this bone. I probably should have cut it back a little more. There's a bone right here, their actual spine bone. And then this is where your Bubba Blade pliers come in. They actually recommend that you use um, a catfish skinning clamp or knife or whatever. So I don't have that, so we're gonna see how we can get this to work here. Make you kind of just pull. Oh, I have to not hold the tail. They pull, hold onto the skin, and it should come right off. There. there we go. That was so simple. And now all we have left is the meat, and this is totally ready to cook up. 
this is gonna be delicious. That's it, the meat, no innards, it's ready to go. Don't you guys think that's like a pretty cool and neat way to fillet a fish? I just thought that was like so awesome when I saw it online and then now doing it in person is just like way better. I wish all fish filleting was like this, <laughs> but it's not. But this knife is working great, so if you're interested in Bubba Blade knives and the products that I like to use when I'm fishing, the link to my Amazon store is in the description below, so check that out. So, made that cut, perfect. But it's gonna get a hold of that spine, and it kind of is gonna start ripping here. There we go. And the meat should come right out. But the Bubba Blade pliers are working. I don't need a catfish skinner. We're good to go. Go. He's off. Now I just gotta cut that little piece off and we are all set. But we're just gonna clean these up really well with the fresh water and we're gonna do our official taste test of the checkered pufferfish, aka toadies. All right, Sizzle, are you ready for the cooking portion for these pufferfish? Checkered pufferfish. Checkered pufferfish. AKA toadies. Yes, <laughs> I'm ready. Ready, let's do this. They really look delicious to me after she cleaned them. They look like uh, chicken wings. Yeah, which is like super <laughs> cool way to play them. That was awesome. That was, it was so easy. So catch those puffer fish, catch them up, and eat them up. Uh, after we eat them first, we're gonna experiment. Hopefully, we're not gonna get poisoned. Do I mix this up for you? Mix it up for me. Yeah, we're gonna throw them in the fryer. We got the, yeah. the deep fryer going right now. Hound and Beach hot. fryer we got. That's in the Amazon, you can get that on the Amazon store for yes. the sizzle, all right? Yes. And we're just gonna fry these things up pretty standard. We're going to uh, dose them, dose them, dunk them in some flour, and then in this egg batter mix, and then in, in, a, in like a fish fry. And I'll show you all that. And then we're just gonna fry them and eat them. Uh, Dad's here eating some dinner too, cooking some vegetables, and so we'll have a grand old time. You ready, Sizzle? Ready. Excuse me. Let's get going. All right. So here is the little chicken legs. <laughs> Put them on this plate so you can see them better. Like I said, I got flour, eggs, and then this stuff. This is what we're gonna fry it in. As we had talked about before, you know, these things are, are poisonous. And anytime you eat something that's poisonous, you wanna, of course, prepare it correctly and do a, uh, you know, and clean it up right and, and clean it just like we did, and then it's safe. You know, the main thing that's poisonous on these things is, as they say, is, is the liver. Uh, so, you know, we took that out, we cut the head off, we got all the intestines out, we cleaned it off with, you know, fresh water and well, salt water first and then fresh water right before cooking so that it's, you know, all set to go. So, uh, you know, these are all good. So, we, you know, don't be scared of them and they're going to be delicious. All right, now it's time for the frying. I googled it, it says to fry it between 375 and 350, so that's what this thing is set for and it's ready to go. My sister also informed me, because she's very, very smart, that instead of plopping the food into the fry, hot frying water, hot frying oil, put it in a basket and then you lower it in. So we're learning around here. Thanks, Amy. And I have no idea how long to put them in there for. So it's going to be a little bit of an experimentation. But that's what you got me for. I'll show you how not to do it. Do you want me to look it up on Google? I looked at it. They can't I don't tell you. Ruin the puffer fish. They don't tell you how to cook puffer fish, how long to. Oh, Steam them. How long to? They don't tell you on there how long to fry a fish. Let's just go for it. Okay. Until they turn golden brown is the general rule, right? Yeah. All right, they're all done. And getting to the point of how long they cook, I cheated in the middle while you weren't watching, and I cut. I took one out and cut it in half. And so it looks like they take between four and five minutes. Oh, there's my timer. Puffer fish taste test. I am so ready. Ready to have some fish and chicken beer. Wing. Can't get much better than that. It literally is a chicken wing. Literally. I don't know what the best way is to eat this, but it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. What do you got? You like a chicken wing? No. I don't know That's how hot it is. I don't have like a hot, like a I do. handle hotness. Dude. That's amazing. It's really good. Eat it like a chicken wing. Mm. That's amazing. When you eat it like this, there is a bone in the middle, so you gotta be a little careful, but just like eating a chicken wing. Mm-hmm. Right. All right, you guys should 
it's like you have common sense, you would know that like the spine still runs through the middle there. But besides that, the rest is meat and the, exactly like the chicken wing, which is like, I'm, it's so crazy that you can have a chicken wing from the sea, literally. Chicken wing of the sea. Look at the white meat. I don't want to be gross, but see how white it is? Yeah, they can actually see it on mine really it good. And no, it's like super, super white. Look at the steam coming off of it. That is just like divine. It's so good, guys. Oh my god. Divine, goodness. that's high level. You're gonna have to try this one day. Actually, if you have tried it, comment below. What's your best way to cook puffer fish? I would like I'm to know. I'm thinking any better than this. See, there you go. Oh, that's all you got left. Little piece of bone. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that, guys. This is salt life. We live in the salt life. People always ask, what does it taste like? Or like, what you compare it to? Um. Can I have this one? I would save it for my dad. Oh, yes, dad. You can have mine. Have another bite. I would say the, um. It's kind of unique. It's not like, it's a, it's not firm like a tuna or a wahoo. No. It's, it's a medium firm. More like a snapper. Yeah. Like a mutton. Not a, not a, not a yellowtail. It's not as mushy as a yellowtail. Right. More right. like a, a mutton. A mutton or a grouper. But type thicker. It's almost better. It's really good. You just spit some food on me. It's so good. It's coming out of my mouth. Yeah. Flying out it's of so the So good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was really amazing, guys. Like I can't get over it. And I hope you guys go ahead and try this at your home and do the same thing. See what happens. Let us know how it goes. Yeah. But, I mean, it's easy. You saw us do it. So, and we weren't even tar necessarily targeting them. So can you imagine if we go out there and like well, target pufferfish? We are gonna load like a five-gallon bucket full of pufferfish. I'm, I'm, I'm the It'd new be king. Awesome. Of, I'm, I'm the new boy and king of pufferfish. There you go, and the king of uh, lake lobster, aka crappie. He crappie. loves both those things now. But that was awesome. Super stoked. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you do. I hope you enjoyed it like we did because it was a whole learning experience for us the whole entire time. So. Um, that was cool. Really cool to share it with you guys. And thank you for tuning in as always. So if you liked it, give us that like, share it, leave a comment. I would appreciate it. We love you guys. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. This is Catch, Clean, and Cook of, I said poison, checkered puffer fish. So this is, and in today's video, I caught checkered puffer fish. So this is, I said so. I caught checkered pufferfish. This is a catch and cook of the poisonous checkered 